Hello everyone, this is David for Studio One Expert. I'd like to show you how you can export stems in Studio One. The export stems function is a very powerful and versatile tool and its implementation in Studio One is quite honestly just fantastic. Just very shortly, for those of you who might have never heard the term stems before, in music production we call stems groups of audio tracks, also they are sometimes referred to as subgroups, submixes or buses. So when we export stems, basically we do the same as exporting a mix down, but uh, instead of exporting the whole song as one single stereo file, we can export only elements of the song, all elements or just certain elements, and uh, exporting them all at the same time. You could also think about exporting stems as basically soloing one or several tracks, doing a mix down, then soloing another track or other tracks, again doing a mix down, and so on and so on. But with the export stems function, we can do all of these in one go. Okay, so let's have a closer look. You can find the export stems functions under the song menu, just below export mix down. Let's have a look at the left side of the window first. You have a list of all your audio tracks or instrument tracks which are included in your song. And on the top you can see we have the choice to export channels or tracks. Channels are all the channels which you can see in the console, whereas tracks are all the tracks you can see in the arrange view. This of course also means that you have no buses and no effects channels visible under tracks because they are also not visible in the range view. Now here are a few things which are really important to note. When you export channels or tracks, in both cases all your stems will include all plugins that you have inserted on the tracks, they will include the panorama position of the tracks and also the fader position of the tracks. When you choose to export tracks, then in addition also all the send effects that you have on the individual tracks will get rendered into the stems. And finally, it's important to note that any effects that you might have on the master bus will be not rendered into the stems. So anything you have on the main out will be just bypassed during the stem export. Okay, so let's see this whole thing in action now. I will close this window for a second and open the console. And here you can see all my top level buses for this song. So basically when I do a mix, in the end I set up these top level buses where all of my elements in the song will be uh, rooted into. So everything that is in the song is included in one of these buses. I have buses in this case for drums, bass, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, keyboards, vocals and all my effects channels. And now what I'd like to do is to make stems of exactly these buses, for mostly for archiving purposes or for being able to send these stems to somebody who can do a remix of the song. Or maybe I'd like to do a remix myself at some point in the future and then it can be enough and easier to just work with the stems. So let's call up our export stems window again. And in this case, we'd like to export channels, because as we have just learned, if you want to export the buses, then you need to select channels. So that is fine. And as you can see per default, all my tracks are selected already here. Except if you have some muted tracks in your range, then they are not selected and you have uh, here in addition that they are muted, which is very cool because you get reminded that you have to unmute them if you muted them by mistake. Otherwise, everything is fine, of course. Okay, so I will first deselect all the tracks and then just select my buses, which I want to export. I have uh, named them with capital letters and colored them in red so I can find them quickly. So I want my drums, the bass, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, keyboards, vocals and effects. Let's have a look at the right side of the window now. You can choose the location where you want your stems to go. If you do this the first time in a song, then Studio One will automatically create a folder called Stems for you inside your song folder, so you don't really have to worry about that. You can give your stems a prefix. 
Unfortunately, even if you leave this empty, Studio One still um, gives a prefix with a dash and two blank spaces. So you can insert, uh, for example, the song title. I will just call it test for now. We don't want to publish for now. As the file format, I like to choose the flag format, especially for archiving, because you get a smaller file size, but still uh, lossless audio. You can choose the resolution and the sample rate. Then very important is the export range. And for a whole mix, I usually have my start and end markers correctly set up, so I can choose between song, song start and end marker. But you can just as well export between the loop, between several markers, and uh, just between selected markers. And finally, you have the option to preserve mono tracks if you export the tracks. You can import the stamps directly to the song into tracks. You can do real-time processing if you use external hardware. We will close this window after the export. And finally, you can set an overlap this is especially interesting if you are exporting tracks between selected markers. We don't need this now, so we just go ahead and click OK. And Studio One will export now all my stamps for me. This, of course, will take a while, and the speed depends on the speed of your computer, on how many tracks you have in the song, and how much processing you have on the tracks. When this is done, Studio One automatically opens the Explorer in Windows with the folder where it put the stamps inside so that you could now simply drag them all into an empty song and control if everything went well with the export, which of course I would highly recommend that you do. Now there is one final thing to do for me, and that is because we have learned that the stamps do not include any effects that you had on the master bus, so even though all elements of the song are included in our stems, they will not sound exactly the same as our song here because the processing of the master bus would be missing. So as a final step, I usually create an effects chain preset for the plugins that I had on the master bus. To do that, simply click on this small arrow here, select store effects chain. You can call it, for example, after the name of the song. Optionally, give it a description, hit OK. And then when you drag your stamps into an empty song, simply call up this FX chain preset on the master bus and everything will sound exactly the same as you had it in this song here. Okay, that's it for now. In the next video, I will show you how you can export raw unprocessed audio tracks, so stay tuned. I've been David, thanks for watching, bye bye.